Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you. Today on this old house, <laughs> this old new house, right? We're gonna, I'm gonna try and talk to you a little bit about some of the framing that has been done on the house. I really didn't get a, a ton of footage on the framing um, for whatever reason. So thank you for uh, understanding that um, about the footage, but I'm gonna kind of do a quick walkthrough for you and let you see what I did on the framing um, I've got some video of things like the soffit. I think some of the porch framing, uh, cutting out some of the windows with my uh, rigid router with a really nice white side spiral bit with a bearing on it. Oh man, it worked out perfectly. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and let you see what some of this wood is behind me so you can un understand where we are here. So, let's see. Hang tight and I'll flip you around. Okay, so here's what we have, folks. We have two by six exterior walls. Um, I'm actually standing in my wife's craft room. It is about 12 foot by 19 feet. So let me back up a little bit. Basically, you'll see there's going to be a double patio door here. I still got to finish putting some OSB there. Um, her room is going to be cathedral ceiling. So the interior wall is two by four, um, spaced on 16 inch center. The exterior walls are two by six, spaced on 16 inch center. And you can see it goes all the way up to the roof. Have a few braces in here. Wanted to make sure she had plenty of light where she could see when she's sewing or painting or doing her artwork um, and she can see what's going on. So this will basically be her view out the back door. Um, it's gonna be pretty nice. I think she's gonna be happy with it. She'll have an eight foot porch in the back that runs across the back that she'll be able to just open her doors. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. You can see I've got things blocked off on the top. Um, two by 10 rafters, two by 10 ridge. And we're going to spray foam the roof, uh, the ceiling. And I'm still deciding what I'm going to do on the walls. Um, definitely going to do, I'm almost second guessing. I should have, I'm thinking I might have wanted to put two by six wall here. Reason being is, is when you walk out of her room and you walk into here, it's the living room. And I'm thinking that I should have probably put a two by six wall in here just to give myself a little more insulation in between her room and where the rest of the stuff is because there's probably going to be a tv on this wall here um, a little wood burning stove but regardless i can use um, a pretty good product in there to, to, to deaden the sound once again two by six framing on 16 inch center cathedral ceiling in here again and let me back out you can see another patio door so patio door window patio door so there's going to be tons of light coming in actually i'm going to cut in i've already ordered and it's on its way another window in here so there'll be another window on this front side um that'll that'll let a lot more light in and there's going to be a galley kitchen and what i decided to do um, my buddy phil had the awesome suggestion to to let it go cathedral all the way in the kitchen. And then what we do is close in over this room, which is the laundry room um, slash guest bathroom. So there'd be a washer dryer, a full shower. There'll be a, um, a vanity and a toilet. And there'll be a very, a really nice setup of utility laundry um, storage stuff. I mean, so we'll have tons of space to store in here. And then this will actually be framed up with a two by six ceiling and that will house possibly any any um thing we need to house up there if, if we decide to go with a conventional uh hvac system it could all go up there i'm actually thinking about doing a couple of mini splits still trying to decide on that but as you can see that's all framed up two by six once again um there'll be this will be like a galley kitchen I really think this is going to be a neat area because of the way that it's going to be wide open and big and all that kind of stuff. There'll be a stove over here with a pantry and a few more cabinets. 
And then on this side, there'll be obviously a sink under the window, um, some more cabinets, fridge. Then you go into the master. Um, and all the master interior wall here is all two by four framing. Two by four framing started on the bathroom. And uh, yeah, two by six walls there. Look at all the windows in this place. So we got two six foot windows in the front, two six foot windows on the side. The bedroom is the same size as my wife's craft room. So if I spin you around, not too quickly here, just right over there through that door is my wife's craft room. So the house itself, heated and cooled, is around 1,150 square feet. Plenty enough for us. We're, we're ecstatic with the size of it. It's plenty. Under roof is around 1,700. That's with the porches. So anyway, this room here is the same size as my wife's room, uh, her craft room. There's going to be a closet here, a closet here on this side of this wall, on our side of the wall. And they'll kind of be like a little hallway that goes into the master bath. And there will be a, so I'm stepping in the room now, imagine that. There's going to be a four foot shower. And then as I look out of the shower, there's going to be a vanity, a soaking tub, a vanity, and then the toilet room. So this will be framed in also. Um, let's see, I thought I had some marks down here on the ground. You may not be able to see them, but anyway. Uh, four foot by four foot toilet room and vanity room. So what we have to do first is we have to get the plywood, which is happening um, this weekend. We are going to plywood the roof and then we're going to frame in the roof on the top of this one. So we have something to set our ridge on. So that's why the bathroom is not framed in yet. And you can see in the bedroom, it is all cathedral also. And we did that because the house is kind of small and we wanted to make sure that it made it feel really big. Um, so I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Down here in South Mississippi, if you guys have been looking around and you've noticed a lot of these metal strapping that just looks like what in the world is going on here? Well, yes, you strap your house down for in a lot of places, but here in South Mississippi, it is required to have some serious strapping above the headers. Um, and these things go all the way over underneath the plywood, uh, or the OSB on the other side. So if you look down, it's bolted down to the plate, which is bolted to the concrete, the bottom plate, then it's strapped. And then as that's strapped, it corresponds to the strap up to the top. Then once all that's done, so I will be running straps from the top of the plate across here up to these other pieces and then strap. So everything basically gets strapped from the top all the way to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna head out to the porch in a minute, but you can kind of see right there on the porch. So we basically support the bottom. We strap, we, we ratchet it down to a bolt, half inch bolt at the bottom, nail it together. It's strapped up here on both sides. And then these will be bracketed to that, to the, po to the, to the beam. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of metal straps, a lot of nails, and uh, whew. yeah, it's been, uh, spent more money on nails than ever I could ever imagine. And now we're walking out the front door. Let me, let me move over a little bit. Front yard, this is our front yard area. And basically you can see, this is the two windows in my wife's craft room. Then there's a door and there's going to be another window the same distance. Um, let me back up. I've got you guys all crammed up on here. So there's going to be a door, a window just on the other side of that door there, the same distance as this window is just to give it a little space. And the reason we're leaving this wall right here is because my wife wants to be able to hang some of her quilts and stuff outside, just like switch the quilts out or a quilt block and decorate um, for different things right there on that wall. And here are some of the brackets I'm telling you about. So that bracket you see there, I think I'm gonna wind up putting on every one of them. And then the same bracket type will go here. So that'll definitely give us <laughs> quite a bit of uh, stability in this place for building here on the coast. 
and uh, here's a peek to the side got some of the soffit stuff done and as you can see up here we started plywooding uh, putting the OSB up and I'm um, turning you guys around here the OSB that had to go on the um, on the roof I remember back when I was helping people build houses when I was about 15 it was half inch plywood then it went to 7 16 plywood or OSB now we're required here to put 5 8 OSB on the uh, on the roof so it definitely makes it um, it makes it solid. When you walk on this roof, there's not going to be any of that flopping around or, or uh, you ever noticed if you walk on a roof, it feels like they got soft spots or you can look at a roof and see like waves and stuff in it. Yeah, that's not going to happen here. It's going to definitely be solid. Um, but yeah, that's a quick run through. And, uh, you know, I may show you guys some of the soffit pictures and stuff like that. And uh, may do a little bit of talk over on some um, through here. You may have seen where I trimmed out around the windows using the router and things like that. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in the video, but I've almost have you guys caught up to where I am now on this second video. And once I get you caught up to this point, then I can start um, doing a video where it corresponds directly to what is going on at the time, which is going to be the roof sheathing on uh obviously on the damn roof i just said roof sheathing on the roof like i don't have any kind of sense so i may just wait for the soffits and windows on that video um but we'll see if you've already seen the damn windows getting done then you know you already saw them get done right i'm sitting here talking around in circles because i'm trying to find a spot where you can see me and i'm not blown out anyway hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the video uh, two of the house build. I will be catching you up to normal time uh, of what we're doing on the house so you guys can kind of see what we're doing as we do it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I shoot pictures uh, throughout the week as things are going on and you can kind of see what's happening there. I try and do stories. I try and keep up with it. It's just really hard um, doing a lot of this stuff by myself and also trying to document it. But make sure you go check me out on Instagram. A link will be in the description. And uh, make sure if you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit that like button for me, please. It really helps. And uh, even if you don't like the videos, just let them play and watch them. Now, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I sure appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. You guys have a good one.